are you doing? Today I have a really exciting makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be using this new palette that I recently purchased, so I'm excited about that. And um, this is going to be kind of like Tropical Sunshine, I guess, so it's a weird title, but I've, I'm really into like creating like really pretty colors and stuff, and I want to do like different colors, so if you want to see different combinations, please let me know, because I have this eyeshadow palette. And um, it's from BH Cosmetics, and I decided to purchase an eyeshadow palette because last time I purchased one was like in February, and I paid twenty dollars then for my eyeshadow palette. Now they're like thirteen dollars, so it's a, they're like really cheap, and they're really good for their price. So this is the one that I got. It's called the Eighty Eight Colors Palette Tropical Shimmer Palette. For some reason, my eight is messed up. They gave me a messed up palette. It's kind of sad, but that's okay. So um, this is what it looks like. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot believe how pretty they are, and I got this shimmer because I decided to do shimmer, and there's just so many colors to pick from, so today I just decided to maybe do like orange and pink, um, kind of a mixed tutorial, just like a tropical sunshine sunset look. I don't know why, I just was looking at the sunset yesterday, I thought it was beautiful, so I decided to just try to recreate that, and if you guys want to see, like, I'm going to try to film like a blue tutorial, I guess, for like inspiration of snowflakes, I don't know, snowflakes are always associated with the color blue, so I was thinking about doing that, but if you want to see any color combinations, here's a quick look, and you can pick any colors, and I'll try to make it together. So there we go. Um, I hope you guys are excited, as excited as I am, even though it's the winter and it's supposed to be more of like the darker colors. I'm doing the lighter colors. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so first I'm going to be taking Bare Study Paint Pot, and this will just be my base for the eyeshadow. And it just looks like this. It's perfectly um, perfect <laughs> for this look because it's shimmery, and I think that just fits how this whole eyeshadow so is. So close, you guys can see how shimmery this eyeshadow really is. So I'm going to be using this eyeshadow right here. I've fallen in love with this eyeshadow. I think it's a perfect pink um, peachy color and just looks really pretty and natural. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply that, and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. It just looks like this. Just tap it on to my eyelid. For the crease, I can't really decide between these two colors, so I think they're perfect together. So I'm going to be mixing these two and just going ahead and apply that into my crease using my e.l.f. contour brush. I'm going to go ahead and just apply that into the crease. Okay, so I applied that and I also bought a blending brush and it's just called the blending brush from BH Cosmetics. I noticed that they have really cheap brushes which look like they have really good quality and this is a really nice poofy blending brush. So I've been using this and I do like it. I'm just going to go ahead and soften this line. So here we are and I blended that out. Now I'm going to be taking this color right here and this is a little bit of a darker red. And I'm just going to be using this kind of poofy blending brush again that I showed you guys. And I'm actually going to just be applying this very lightly onto my outer crease. There we go. These are the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and just apply a quick highlight right here. And I'm applying this right on top. Okay, so I'm going to be using this yellow color right here. I'm going to be just applying this right underneath my eyes with that liner brush. So this is the completed look, and I hope you guys like it. And I'm going to just go ahead and curl my lashes with that NYC eyelash curler. Preference if you want to apply some mascara or not, I would go for the full and soft mascara for this look because it's more of a natural mascara that kind of just gives your uh, lashes a little bit more of a length. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit okay, of this. Okay, so this is a look from far away. So, this is just a really nice tropical look, I guess. Um, maybe you can wear it on vacation, maybe you're going somewhere warm for the winter. Uh, <laughs> so, if you want to, but I really like this look, I think it looks very nice and kind of natural and doesn't really like. It's not that much out there, so it's more of a wearable look, and it's more of a wearable color look, and I know you guys have been looking for something like that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply this LA Colors blush, and this is in the color Toast. And I think this is perfect because, again, the eyeshadow is not that extravagant, so this is more of like a, um, a darker color, especially if you have darker skin tones, I recommend going for a darker blush than normal. What I really hate about my camera is that you cannot see that the color come out on it, but I am wearing a lot of blush, so... Now for this look, I'm just going to go for a nice nude look. So I have um, the Revlon in Soft Nude. I'm going to be applying this just on top of my lips. Pump just a Wet n Wild lip gloss. And this is it for the whole look, um, for the whole makeup look. So just some nice um, brighter cheeks, I guess, with this nice um, kind of tropical look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this whole tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know what other color combination you'd like to see. See you guys soon. Bye, guys.